Hey there boys and girls, like Skillfaker here and today with the Vorsi Alpha review. Today I'm not alone, I have my girlfriend with me right here. Yeah, hi. Yeah, and so we played the game Vorsi, we played it since I think almost like the first day in the Alpha. I played it since the first day in the oh, Alpha. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> not me. And yeah, we played together and we just want to give you some sort of um, like video for it, a review if it's like worth buying it, how the game is and so on. And since it's normally better to have like two opinions uh, instead Especially of one. Especially because our opinions kind of yeah, she's <laughs> differ a, on she's this. She's a love girl and I'm the hater oh, guy. No. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> and yeah. So, um, right here you can basically see a fresh spawn, I hope uh, I won't cut the gameplay so you will really see a fresh spawn right here. But yeah, um, what do you want to say about the game? Because I, yeah, just, just stop. About which aspects, like the, well, in general the alpha was kind of pretty raw when it ca came out, like it didn't have any features actually, it was a pretty clean feeling when the first when you played it the first time I think well I felt like if you mean with clean there more was more like blank so well no I, I mean that it was like you came in and it just I mean when you're used to other games zombie games that are just really popular it felt more like things wouldn't just um, disappear if you put them on the floor and you could I think you could uh, really you rely mean, on the mean, on the yeah. game engine and stuff. You meant it was, it was more solid, not, yeah, not yeah. as glitchy as other it, games. It was a pretty solid thing, but there was... I mean, I started the game and I I think I got f killed like after two sacks because I got spawned up with a flashlight, but when yeah. I actually could start playing the game, it was like, um, well, I found a flashlight and some food and I was like, okay, what am I going to do now? <laughs> yeah, so the game itself is actually like... Um, you could sm say pretty smooth and fluent. Uh, I mean, there are like some issues in bigger towns that will you will get some FPS drops. It's not I optimized didn't have them yet. Though. Oh yes, it, it, it told you in the upper left uh, right hand corner that your frames were down by 19 or so. Oh well, but it, but it still worked good, and I saw the people. I I don't know. I don't yeah. know if the frame thing really worked because it was really a new feature, and I don't know if it. Yeah, I, I think the game itself was like... Well, I think it, it felt smooth and it felt yeah. like you could rely on, on, on the game and it, you wouldn't get too many glitches and stuff, oh, although it was alpha. Here I'm getting... <laughs> Why are you jumping like crazy? Guy. Yeah, this, this guy is shooting at me. <laughs> so, um, my first impressions. So, um, at first they, so they are a little new and upcoming company. So, they haven't like the most servers in the world and like the best programs and stuff so my account actually didn't work for like the first two days or so yeah, because um, they had a glitch where you weren't uh, allowed to type like faster than yeah it was if you if you did a better. certain thing when you put in your username the first time or your email then it wouldn't work <laughs> yeah so dozens of people yeah. on facebook and yeah. YouTube, twitter everywhere hey my account is not working it says invalid key or password yeah, or something it, it really sucked yeah but so it, i still think that it developers of it they do a good job on patching things actually i mean yeah, i like well, how they, they have to it's alpha <laughs> yeah they have to but i like how, how they try to listen to the community like i mean they ask people what they would like to see in the game how yeah, they I think, think the new features really are really good but we have two different opinions because personally i think that they may not have like too many own ideas and well, that's why they're asking yeah. like, a lot more than usual and yeah, like I said, or like we said in the beginning, it was like, well, the common alpha issues, um, it was basically a giant team deathmatch slash freefall where you can one hit everyone with a flashlight. Yeah, it, it was... But you... The zombies were too strong, other players yeah. were too strong, it was... I mean, yeah, it's better now, and I think you can still... The shooting was just <laughs> off, kind of. I think you can still get a one hit kill with the flashlight if you hit the back of the head of you the player. You can't. <laughs> Well, I think so. I'm pretty but, sure you can't. Um, the aiming is also kind of off, so um, I think I uh, later in the gameplay I will find a flashlight, and you can uh, see I was. You have to kind of aim with your left hand yeah, the or aim your is left really elbow. Hard. So it's it's com it's extremely weird. And zombies, um, they previously 
took like dozens of hits. <laughs> yeah, I once two killed a zombie with a flashlight. I had to do hit it like hundred times. Yeah, but now it's actually two hits to the uh, no 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 three hits to the head, and the zombie will die. Uh, so mostly, if you hit them in the head, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to aim with your yeah, left hand. Yeah, it's kind of hard work. to hit things the way you want them to. Yeah, so. Um, I don't think we can come over the fact that we have to compare it at some point at AC. So yeah, I just want to say that to um, lots of people in DayZ were complaining about like too much PvP and oh, they're not playing it like a real survival game, you have to work together and stuff. And I actually thought that in DayZ this might be not that big of a problem because the zombies were really strong and I always thought, uh, well, if the zombies are really strong, they the players have to work together because... In Wazi? Yeah, in Wazi oh, the zombies yeah. are really strong. So I thought, well, um, if the zombies would be stronger, the players would have worked together, and that's yeah. how War Z was. And I thought, oh, well, this could be really good. And I think because of the like arcade style of the game, it, I actually it's don't think it's the arcade style. I don't I think know why or what, but it's just something about the game which makes people go PvP ham. I I Call actually of Duty think Modern it's three style. I think actually it's this melee weapon thing because. I mean, I thought about it, and I thought, wh what is the difference bec be between Daisy and Wazi that makes this thing so much of a PvP game? Like, it was like, well, mostly when I get killed, it's it's by melee weapons by guys that just started out. Like, I mean, you don't have this in Daisy. Nobody kills you with a flashlight, and I think it's just you see someone he has a melee weapon, and you don't know if he's gonna kill you or not, and it's just hard to trust people because everyone has a weapon. Like, I mean. Yeah, but I again have a different opinion on that, so um, I think you're somewhat, like, I somewhat agree with you, but, um, yeah, I think um, it's a problem that um, that you can kill so fast with, like, yeah. with some, uh, so you start out with yeah. a flashlight and you can, like, I don't know, three, four, five yeah, hits in order you, to kill a player. you die too fast. Yeah, and uh, due to the fact that the game is so, like, smooth, um, it's really, that's, that's, also, what I mean with like arcadey, yeah. um, you the game is a lot easier to to so it has basically no learning curve, and it's e uh, easier to ex it's I don't know how to say it it's easy yeah, I know what, to I know accessible what for I the mean, casual crowd. Even this arcadey thing, I mean in DayZ, before you shoot someone, you like aim at him and I'm like, oh, I hope I will hit him and stuff, and you yeah, have to hit him a few times to actually shoot him. If you don't have a sniper, it's hard to shoot someone with a sniper yeah, rifle. Yeah, with, uh, with a sniper rifle, uh, only the, the um, But here it's the like, here it's like you have a weapon and it's, it's so easy to aim and to kill. It's, yeah, um, yeah, that's. I think that's the main point. It's it's really easy to kill. It is, it's, yeah. It's, it's not it's, it's challenging like it's, it's like in a normal first-person shooter. Like it's yeah, it's, it's like you would play uh, like... Yeah, like you would play. I, I just have the feeling like I would be playing like Call of Duty online yeah, or maybe yeah. Quake in the older days or something. I, I don't know that. But yeah, COD is... Uh, yeah, that's just what I would compare to that. And I don't know. Um, it's, it's well, I think the alpha is over now and now we have the beta. But, yeah, um, I think so. One problem I still have with this game is like the end game. So what you're looking forward to and I hate to compare it to DayZ again, but... They're like vehicles, and you can get a ghillie and just. They are going to be vehicles rifles. and ghillies. Yeah, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> and helicopters and and when we played the game, and even now in the beta, uh, just like the beta is right now, there's basically no no goal you can like aim for yeah, at the moment. I think the problem is what they call beta. It's it's not a f nearly finished game. Like I I would call this what they have now an alpha. Like. The thing yeah. they had before as an alpha, this was just a thing you can build your game on. It was just the engine and the basic things you, you can put in, but it didn't have anything like it. Yeah, you, you had a player and the world yeah. and you could walk around Another with Another problem at the, at the beginning of the game was that the world was so small, like you would come across a player like every 10 seconds. Like yeah, I would so walk somewhere and there wouldn't be another player. I would spawn, I would just see another player yeah, spawning to explain like, right that, in front um, of me. They cut off some parts of the world because they won't. Uh, they two didn't thirds, yeah. Yeah, two <laughs> thirds. So you had only one third of the world, yeah. and you had forty people, and the servers <laughs> were always full. Yeah, so at the beginning was forty people. Now it's only giant 30. free for all. Yeah, it, it it was really bad, be especially because you. Uh, back then, you could start out with a flashlight, and like everyone started yeah. out with a f with a flashlight, it would spawn kill everyone uh, yeah, you see. Yeah, I think the spawns were also kind of messed up, so everyone would spawn like somewhat of a the spawns were really near bad. location, and yes, you spawn yes. and you're instant dead because there's a guy waiting for the 
people to spawn yeah. and killing one hitting them uh, with a flashlight. Yeah, the, the spawns were totally off. Yeah, so. Uh, well, I, th I think it's better now that the map is bigger. I mean, yeah. the map, last time I played, I didn't encounter a player for like 30 minutes or something. I didn't, didn't see anyone. I was just running around in bigger cities. I mean, the game has some good features. Uh, for, uh, for example, I like if you die, you spawn in a location near the place you died. But on the other hand, um, <laughs> it really sucks because you have to, already you can see you have to aim with your left hand. Um, <laughs> it looks so dumb. <laughs> I'm working my way up to the head there. I'll kill you with the flashlight. And yeah, um, what do you want? Uh, oh, I lost track. You should <laughs> continue. <laughs> Well, one major oh, issue I got it. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that you spawn in the same location, but yeah. you have to um, like make your character, and when you die, you have to wait an hour before yeah, you're able to play is, with it. This again. is one major issue I have. I, I just, I just can't come to like this character system. I, I try to like it, but I, I just don't understand what it's supposed to give me. Like, I mean, you have five different characters, and I have to wait one hour until they are revived, and. You basically have no chance to retrieve the stuff you lost on your first character. I mean, yeah, it's like you form some really good stuff, but uh, I really don't want to compare this to Daisy, but I, I kind of have to. So if you if you lose the stuff there, you go like, okay, I have to retrieve my stuff, and you just do it. And here it's like, you die and you lose your stuff, and you know you will never get it back, and <laughs> you will never find the person that took it. Yeah, it's so, um, just... Weird. <laughs> Since we actually don't want to compare it to DayZ all the time, and I actually want to make another video on that, I still have to say um, something else. And I lost track again. God damn it. Oh, well, I could talk some more about the character thing. I think I think it's nice that you can have different looking characters. I, I think it's a nice feature. I mean, I, I don't need that. Like, it doesn't have to be there, but I think it's. it would be nice to come to like your own character, but it's being destroyed by this five character policy thing. <laughs> like, why? Yeah. I, I don't really get this one hour thing. I, I still don't know what they're trying to achieve with that. I have absolutely no idea. I mean, you, w you wait one hour to start over with a character who is nothing. Why? Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> exactly. Like you can just create a new character, name it the same and make it look the same and why would you wait an hour to start over with your old character? I mean, maybe it will make sense when they release the skill trees. Oh yeah, the skill trees. What do you think about that? They're not even there yet, are they? Well, yeah, but I mean, I, I saw some things how they could work out. Like they would have different skills, like skills of repairing vehicles and medical skills and you could skill those things. And um, if your character dies, you still have those skills after you revived him. I think maybe then it will me make more sense and you would maybe come to like your character more. Yeah, maybe. If you really skilled him and stuff. Yeah, well, still, the, waiting the, an hour. Why? That's totally yeah. dumb. So, uh, like we said, the, even now the game isn't better. It still feels like some sort of pre-alpha. Yeah. There's not much to do. There's still lots of stuff to be implemented into the game until it's like it makes sense to actually like play it. And yeah. right here, I have to hate a little because I can't stand the company who made the game. I, I can't stand them. They 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 lied. They're just liars. They, no, no, no. <laughs> that. There's they, a big issue. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. Um, said they um, were like working on that game for two years and they are they developing it uh, for like the last year or so yes and that's what they said if you play the game you can tell this game has never been in development for more than maybe six months or so i wouldn't say six months i would say like three definitely, months definitely. <laughs> and if they if um, they had a like a, a previous game which was called war inc battle zone and i'm not quite sure but i think it also had some um pay to win stuff like um you could i don't know like don't in blacklight retribution yeah. like you could, could be. instead of playing for the hours to achieve something you could buy it for 10 bucks or something well but i don't think that's so much much play to win i think that's uh, pay to win i think it's more like i don't know all the best hours i just don't <laughs> like the, the f well yeah this this is a thing well f well, we in-game currency it's, it still annoys me even if it's not like big yeah. or present it's, well, it's uh, still there well first I want to say something to the to this developers issue 
So, I think I agree in terms that they kind of lie to the people. Big liars. I wouldn't say it like this because everyone in the business has to lie. It's just how it works. It's, it's how how. But the main Media thing works is, and they said they were the first like zombie MMO survival <laughs> yeah. game. They were when the they really just saw, oh, they see it's successful, let's make a game, well, call it similar, like Wazzy, and then we will get lots of is, money out of it, because it, it we will is, release it before sorry, they do it. Sorry, is, it is true that they were the first people that called their game a zombie MMO game, so they can't say it's the first game, because nobody ever called this, their own game this name. There have been games out before. Mm, and, I'm not talking yeah. about Daisy. There have been other I, games I out them, before, yes. long before Daisy. So, so this is the thing, I think. Daisy itself is a copy of many, many mods that were already on many games, like um, also... Oh, what's the name? Arma 2? Yes. Or? There were many mods that were like Daisy and had the same ideas and... Yeah, you but can't they say were that kind of missions, not like free worlds. I mean, I know what you're saying, and well, it's still right, but Daisy's still a mission. They kind see, of thing. never called itself the first MMO zombie it survival it game it ever. It didn't. I think it's wrong that they call themselves this thing, but it. I hate. I, I don't know. It's just. I hate it. Everyone does it. It's just how you how you get your game under the yeah, people. Yeah, I know. It's competition is good for the game it. because if there's competition, they want to improve the game so they could so sell more copies. But at first. I saw that I didn't think too well about those guys, but when I saw how they would really try to put some, I mean, I think it's it's not okay how they released this thing as an alpha when it didn't have anything. I don't think that's an alpha, and I yeah, and they also charged extra yes. money if you wanted to well, play for the alpha, and it's basically was he is basically just a mod like DayZ for their previous game, Warring Battlezone. It's basically the same game just with. The zombies well, and then you many wrote. games are this that you take the same engine. It's not <laughs> and just, just the make engine, it, 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 the whole game mechanics and stuff, and also yeah, but the how the game works. It's oh. exactly the same. No, it's like when you make Battlefield and Medal of Honor something like that. Yeah, and those games are totally different, even though they run. Well, I think it's different if you do a first-person shooter or you do a zombie game or I don't know, you do a, you know, whatever you do. Yeah, but well, all they really did well, was still. They, they put the first person view into the third person view, and that's also the reason why you can see the people like well, having this weird running I, I, animation I still. looked at, at the game that was uh, what's called War Inc. And yeah. it is different from this game. You, you can't say it's the same game. Yeah, I because there are no numbers still, popping up. Yeah, 50 plus flashlight kill. No, it, it was, <laughs> it's really different. You can't say it's the same game. You can't say they didn't put any effort in it. I, just think, I didn't say they I think, haven't put any effort well, in it. And about them saying they did it two years ago, I think you can't prove that they didn't think about making a zombie game Yeah, ever. I thought about making such zombie game I too. I know, you said that too. And I, if you wanted to get, get your game under the people, you could say too. I thought about this for two years. No. Well, yeah, but I'm not a fucking lion. Say I'm the first one who made a game like this. This is the first game. I wouldn't never <laughs> say that. I think I don't think it's good that they said it. That's it. I, I don't think it's good, but I actually I don't care because I want to play a good game. So about this, this isn't a good game yet. It's yeah, like that's I said, just competition normally makes games better. Yeah. But I don't really think that. Uh, I, I think they, they just felt pressure to release this game for Daisy, the, the standalone gets released and then they just released it like this shitty thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know why. It's, it's it's really shitty the way it was when it started kind of. I mean it got better but it's still nowhere near like a, I, I, like a complete like the, game. I like the improvements they make. I mean they, they really try to be fast doing this stuff. It's just that the thing that they're building on was so basic and didn't have anything that's just going yeah, so slow. I mean... Um, it's it's hard to say. I mean, they try to implement their own features, and I mean, I, I wouldn't always try to compare it to DayZ if they wouldn't have like copied of DayZ. Why no? DayZ was a copy of other z zombie games, and you can look at them. I, I showed them to you actually, and they had helicopters looked like the same, and they had places that looked the same, and they had ideas yeah, that but, were just but the same something that DayZ had. Which really, which is really bugging me is they're charging money for this game yeah yeah which is basically the previous game which was a free to play and pay to win game and now they saw oh look this um this they see thing with zombies and stuff yeah. oh this looks good maybe we should make it and we could even like get money off our game this time and i'm just really well, annoyed but by this those is people. how it works like there's i don't know i don't know what was 
let's think of the first the first person shooter that was out. I don't know what what could you ma- name there the first uh, big one. No. First big one. Most people would probably say Counter Strike. Yeah. Okay. Look at Counter Strike. Like people saw that and they say, oh, I should make something like this, and then things like. Call of Duty happen and things like Battlefield happen. Yeah, but and they're all good and they're did all they their ever own said thing. like we're the first first person no, shooter no, ever. They didn't Not even say the first first person <laughs> shooter ever said that. I know, I know that's it's it was wrong of them to say that. That's it. Yeah. Full stop. I, I don't think we have to discuss over that. It was just wrong to say that. It's stupid to claim that and it's ridiculous because everyone knows that they're not the first one. They're just the first one that caused themselves. Especially when the game is actually a mod, which is only like six months old. Well, uh, I don't know about this mod thing. Whatever. They're just a young company. Uh, they probably couldn't afford to do anything like all new. And of course, they're building on the fame that DayZ got. But yeah, I I, th- I think it's still a good thing that there are other games like this out and they get some healthy competition. Yeah, now, now about this um, pay to win thing. When I first heard about this, I was like, what you can you can like buy things like um yeah this is still bugging me too before you spawn you can buy ammunition stuff I mean that's not like like I wanted to play a zombie survival I have to yes, find that stuff yes. and this is just, because find stuff this is the basic of a survival game I mean oh and right here in the gameplay I just have to interrupt you real quick oh. uh, really quick I've um this is like the biggest backpack in the game I guess or like the second biggest one. And everyone will, of course, kill you for even the normal backpack you start with. And for that thing, you will have people chasing you, like, miles away. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, this, this pay to win thing, that it really bugged me the first time I saw it. I was like, ah, uh, this is weird. Yeah. And I mean that you don't get this wrong. It's not like you can pay for weapons or for things that you could really use to kill Just anyone. Just ammunition for the weapons. It's ammunition which you don't find easily so i think it's unfair to get this yeah and ammunition for is actually pretty rare for water game. and food and at the beginning that really sucked because it was so hard to find water and food and you got so thirsty yeah, so fast yeah <laughs> in the beginning you, you had like three now, minutes and then you were like dying because of your yeah I, I think it's still cheap now because it holds people from um <laughs> zombie hit you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because it it keeps people from running around and, get, and gathering stuff like you should be doing yeah. in this game and I think this is a thing that's kind of not acceptable oh and by the way right here in the gameplay this is no like crazy diarrhea that's the bleeding <laughs> animation <laughs> it looks really weird well whatever yeah it I don't know I don't think that's a good thing and I don't think they needed to make money so um, it's yeah. cheap I, I would like them to, to take it out which is probably not gonna happen so I'm, yeah, I'm really not okay with that. It's yeah. I think such a thing has no place in a game. Yeah. Especially not in a survival I game. I mean, they could make people buy other... In a survival environment, other... money is useless. Yeah, that, that should be the thing. I mean, they, they could make, make people buy other character skins or something. Yeah, I like, wouldn't care so much about that. I would think, yeah, well, it's nothing good, which you like, paid money to look like that. That's dumb. Whatever. Yeah, that's, but that's to not pay changing for, gameplay, for stuff so. you really need in the game... I don't think that's a thing that should be in a game like that. It's just not right. Yeah. I I think that would be one of my biggest Uh, concerns about this game. And another thing, and I have to hate, I hate to have (laughs) to make the little line thingy to DayZ again, but since DayZ runs on like the Armor 2 engine and it's basically like we all know an Armor 2 mod, um, it it aims for like realism, and this is something I am looking for personally. Me, yeah, I am yeah. looking forward in a survival game because yeah. I wanna want it to be as realistic as possible, but still like playable. And this game feels for me just too like arcadey. I don't wanna use the word all the time again, but it just feels too much like not yeah. like a zombie survival I game think, or I a think survival game in general I it's mean, more like the typical respawn shoot kill respawn yeah I think the thing is that they want to implement things like broken bones and stuff that are really kind of like in Daisy but I think it's maybe it's just the looks of the game I don't know it. I mean if you look at that I can't just take the the way I, I want with yeah, it, lo- it looks a little cartoony. Yeah, it, it does look cartoony. I, I mean, the colors and... 
Everything is nice know. and bright. Yeah, the cars the are really big and cartoony. The flashing blue things you can pick up. The I really don't big know. backpacks. How can you even like carry those without affecting I mean, some yeah, sort of yeah. physics? I mean, on Halloween, I saw um, zombies carrying pumpkins on their heads. This is uh, not, not. Don't take me wrong. This is funny. It's a nice feature to have special Halloween zombies, but um, I, it takes kind of away the. Survival feeling, feeling yeah. yeah. I mean, I for mean, a normal zombie game, that would be fun. Like Left 4 Dead, that's, that yeah, would Left be awesome. Yeah, Left 4 Dead. This is, yeah, this is kind of... Or like Call of Duty Zombies. to take the Z and then put those funny Left 4 Dead things in, but they're kind of not funny in this game. I think, actually, they took Call of Duty and put the Left 4 Dead zombies <laughs> in. <laughs> well, Especially yeah, we if I can talk about remember this. it right, the, the circle, if you pick up stuff... Isn't it the same with Left 4 Dead? I, I haven't played Left 4 Dead in a while, yeah. but I'm pretty sure it's really, really similar yeah. to it. Uh, I don't know. Now, it's really hard not to compare this to Daisy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it, because it's, it's just a thing that's out, and the thing it was obviously like created after. So. Daisy, Wazzy. Well, I wouldn't say. Daisy, the name is actually also uh, copied from another game yeah there isn't much variety in this but game yeah so, so the names whatever it's cheap to call your game wazzy when oh. there's a game out that's called daisy but right here, I, find a I don't care oh yeah you have a shotgun yeah i found this shotgun twice <laughs> yeah i think i also have one the global inventory oh let's talk about the global inventory you start Whew, the global inventory okay for those guys who don't know what this is um it's an inventory that you can basically access either when you start a new character or, yeah, you can also buy things and add them to your global inventory, which is dumb, but whatever. And you can access it from um, safe zones. There are, I, so I think at zones. the moment there are like two oh, three, is, are three, three oh, yeah. in the game like this. Those are just zones. Like one is a, is a big like industrial looking thing. Yeah, a little. like a construction site. Yeah, I mean. yeah, like a construction site kind of. And from there you can, <laughs> yeah, it's stupid how you access it. You have actually to end the game and then... Come yeah, back you have in, to whatever. Out and then you so can you can access it and can put things in that you found or get so stuff out that you. Um, it's actually like a nice little safe game, which, from my that, point of view, takes no survival aspect okay, that's, away. Okay, that's not what I think. I think in real life you could have something like a safe zone, like where in real where, life where your people are dead, no, you're dead. where you can guard things, like other people can guard things for you or something, whatever. I think it's nice to have something like a safe zone because if you want to put something in, you have to get it twice. Yeah. My idea still would be, insert copyright here, um, that you could like um, dig a hole and put the stuff in there, put yeah, the dirt on it cool. and you remember the place on the map and you can yeah, like dig a hole again and get cool. the stuff. That's how I would implement yeah, something yeah. like that in a game. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. But I think it's the safe zones. I mean, there are also zones that are safe and I think it's a good idea for friendlies to meet up because only friendlies can access them because bandits yeah, can't. But I think this takes the survival aspect away because oh now I'm in happy Hello I, Kitty no, Land. It's, no, it's, it's, like it's, it's not like that. It's it's not like that. Well you can shoot there, can't you? Yeah you can, but what what does it help you? You don't you don't find stuff there. It's it's not like you get any advantage out of being there. Really, you can only talk to other friendlies and, and get some stuff in case you stored some stuff in your global inventory. So I think I think it's a good thing against bandits. I mean, it's, it's well, it's probably not working, but I think it's a good idea to pre try to prevent too many people being bandits without drawbacks. Um, it's good to meet up with other friendlies, even though I have never seen any other people in there. We have once met friendlies. Right here, oh, yeah. near the tank. Yeah, yeah. They all died. Because yeah. <laughs> got we got all shot. <laughs> that was pretty dumb. But basically, but it, there are two, like, two ways of engaging like other people uh, or like meeting them is... One, no one of them is armed, like neither of them, and you have no flashlight, no, I don't mm. know, hammer or anything. Then you type in friendly, friendly, you go away. Mm -hmm. As soon as somebody has a flashlight or anything else which he can hit with, yeah. he will chase you. As long Mostly. as he can. I, I must say, I have met, like, I would say one out of ten people that I meet are friendly. And they're The problem armed. is most people I see that are friendly are just getting killed in front of my eyes. Like, I think <laughs> this happened to me three times. I found people, 
And I said, oh, hey, I'm friendly. Are you friendly too? And I said, yeah, I'm friendly. I was just running around. Yeah, the last time I was running around for this guy for, I guess, five seconds. Then he entered the building and got shot down. It was like, yeah, yeah. well, at least I survived. <laughs> Another problem, I think, which is really, like, um, needed in the game is um, the voice chat. Because right now you're yes. only able to oh, type in, yes, voice chat. <laughs> in with normal <laughs> chat right there. And... It's terrible the time it takes to type this message. Yes. And, oh, it's they, just they awful. They do need voice chat. It's it's important. It, yeah. yeah it's, I don't know. The message typing is kind of weird. I, I yeah, it's kind of glitchy. Figure it out. Yes. With F1 and yes. F2, you switch between. And you can't write anything that's less than three, three letters. So if you write OK, it won't take it. Yeah. That sucks so write, badly oh, okay. because I normally no, no, I write just OK. Or, the, or someone asked. Are you friendly? And I... Okay. Oh, he yeah. isn't responding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tried to type. I'm like, no, why does it work? It, it, yeah, it doesn't know. <laughs> it really sucks. Later on in this gameplay, I, um, I'm going to like one of the bigger towns. And I meet a guy. And I'm typing to him in the proximity chat. And he's on a van surrounded by zombies. And I was want to ask him if I can help him and if he's friendly. But I think he chooses... Yeah, he then runs away and I think gets run over by the zombies <laughs> because he was actually trying to murder me to, in order to get my weapon. Yeah, people are going to try to murder you even if they have 20 zombies up their ass and know they are going to die if they try that. They still try to kill you and yeah. then they just die after But there, you. there's really nothing else you can do in the game. Like, yeah, at the moment, this, this is a real problem at the moment. I mean, you can try to get weapons, but honestly, I mean... I don't know. I, I haven't seen a lot of weapons, actually. Uh, still, you could try to get a good weapon, but then what for do you get this good weapon? I mean, you can't chase bandits because, because you have no chance of seeing who is a bandit. I mean, there's there's no chance you can say, this guy here is a bandit for some reason. I don't know why it is that way, actually, in that game. Yeah, they, later on, they want to add some bounty system, but I still yeah. don't know how this will affect, like, maybe the player skin uh, or, or maybe, I, I don't like, know. glow red, I don't know. No, that won't <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Uh, yeah, we have to see how guy. this is gonna work out but at the moment there's, there's like nothing to do in this game I mean last time I was like well equipped I had two weapons and I had food and water and stuff and I was like okay well, what am I gonna do now like uh, I have yeah, no clue game, where game to go <laughs> I think another problem is like uh, I really don't want to compare this to Daisy, but in Daisy, like, you're running around and every two sacks you find a house or you find something that you can enter and where you can find loot. Here it's like, there are the cities, like, I don't know, eight cities or something like that, and that's where you find loot, and there's, there's there no the other place. Zones. And and it's all the same, like, there are only houses that you can enter. The only other thing that I saw was um this airstrip thing. Yeah. But it's the only thing. There's only yeah, the, the houses and like, airstrip cut off. There are like four <laughs> or five presets, uh, preset houses you can enter. Yeah, and they yeah. always have like the same loot and stuff. There's so. just not this variety of things. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's definitely the, game, the, the game is definitely lacking stuff. Like everything. Like I mm. mean, it's going to get vehicles. And it's still going to get um, disbanded improved system thing yeah so i think um we until now we did a pretty good job of reviewing the the game so far and i think we should like slowly come to some sort of a uh, conclusion and give like yeah. the end review of what we think about the game well so maybe far. yeah maybe to those people who think about buying this because i, yeah. I came along uh, cross uh, but I came across a lot of people that were asking, well, should I buy this game or not? Here I want to say I actually did not want to buy it. <laughs> I want to try it and I think it and was, I was worth. I was forced to. I think it was worth trying it. And I, th I, s I think, to be honest, that this game has a good chance to be a good game someday. I think it is... I think the thing I that it's... Daisy. Yes, uh, me too. I prefer DayZ to say it. But... It has the advantage that it's not glitchy. It's, I mean, in Daisy, I'm like, should I put this on the ground now? Or is it <laughs> yeah. just going to glitch out? And here I'm like, okay, I put this on the ground and we'll be there. And I, I do this and my stuff will still be there. And I look out and well, I won't in look in and be like, dead. Hmm, and I can put this down and then it will turn into a clown. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, okay, so um, yeah. let's so review the, the... For people who think about buying this, actually. To be honest, I mean, if you played AC, you would probably be disappointed if you play that game. I think so, too. I, I really think so. I mean, if you're a bandit, if you're a bandit like guy, I think you would still enjoy it a lot because there are many people you just can come across and kill and take their stuff. But I don't know if you're just a uh, someone who, who uses. If you to ever w uh, wish, they see would be a lot more easier, a lot more arcadey, and more PvP. Yeah. This game might be for you, but you probably like the Z more. Yeah, I, I mean, it's not too expensive. So if you see that um, the gameplay and think that's something for you, I think it's worth trying the game out. But I would not recommend it in the state it is at the moment. Because yeah. it's not in a state where you will have a lot of fun playing it, actually. I mean, I see it in the... When you follow the side chat in the game, there are people like, well, I don't know what to do. Well, I get killed every two seconds from a bandit. <laughs> and stuff like this, like, I mean, I think it reflects the Response opinion on this game. Response still are kind of messed up. Well, I think they're kind of okay, but yeah. whatever. So, I don't know. I, I would not recommend normally to buy this game in this state. I would definitely recommend to buy it someday. But I think at the moment it's just not what it could be. Okay, if so they would have waited another two months or something too. Okay, so this was kind of your review. This was my okay, pin dead on this game. Now will be my famous last words. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, like I said, um, if you like DayZ, you will probably not like the War Z. Um, yeah, the game is actually well, called like the War Z. Oh, okay, so it's something I like DayZ and I think I can like War Z too. <laughs> Well, if you like DayZ because of the realistic features of Armor 2, you won't like this game. Maybe I should put it like this. I think if you like DayZ because there are many things you can do... I thought your you review like was over. <laughs> yes, but I have to give my comments to your review. I'm sorry, I, I'm gonna be... So, nice um, like I said, the game is runs pretty, th uh, pretty smooth. Um, it's like... It feels fluid and... Um, little bit arcadey and cartoony just like um, how it plays the environment there's for example no weapon swap animation you can instantly swap and I think also aim on the sides and stuff I don't think there's I, d I don't know if is there how to have the projectiles uh, traveling yeah tra nobody travel can time? nobody can actually tell <laughs> yeah so I don't think so because it's in, in I don't think so either it, it isn't I, I, like this and I mean every time I get shot by a sniper it just kills me yeah I don't think there's too much recoil or bullet drop I didn't two. see any recoil yet actually yeah it's <laughs> it's point and click like a digital camera and <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> like I said personally I like Dizzy better I still think that this game is good for the competition. I can't stand the company, but they are working hard on the forums to make their game somewhat good. Yeah, it's which is just frustrating. Pretty good, I guess, even though I don't like him. <laughs> and I don't think this will add any more <laughs> um, strength to my argument if I continue saying I don't like the company. No. Even though I don't like them. <laughs> and I yeah. don't care about that. I don't like many people. I but if they make a good game. Well it's just not my game. Yeah. And you were able to see quite a lot of footage almost 40 minutes now which is a little longer than we expected to do. <laughs> and I hope I will be able to upload this. And yeah so if you're still interested in the game, uh, I am going to give away some beta keys, which are beta guest keys and are um, for how long? For 48 hours? Yes. Yeah, so you can play the game for 48 hours. I don't know if it's like real days or in-game time. Uh, you'll probably have to figure that out by yourself. So I, um, I'm pretty sure it's only two days real life time. Okay. That's what I read, actually. Okay. Yeah, and 
yeah so if you're still interested i'm going to give them away but not in this video so please don't <laughs> comment in this video i want a key 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 please <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure if this happens again, I'm never to do, going to do a, a giveaway with keys again. I will post another video, the video after this one, which will be like a one minute video and say, if you want a wasi, better guess key, leave a comment down below. And I will use a random number generator and pick between... Oh, and all for, for all those guys that um, would really try to try this game out there when you go to the wasi forum there are so many people that are giving away better keys just like that you just ask them so if you really want to try yeah. this game out and not buy it or you just don't have the money at the moment just ask in a forum maybe so you will be lucky and someone will give you a key yeah That's because if you buy the game if you purchase it you actually get three better keys yes i i don't think you, you get them anymore now i'm not really? sure okay. well it was kind of an alpha extra thing okay maybe not but Anyways, um, I'm going to give maybe three keys away, maybe five? I think five. Five. Okay. Yeah, and I think that's all for now. And that's all for the review of the WoZ Alpha and some sort of beta, I guess? Yeah. <laughs> One day of beta. Okay, so... Oh yeah, it was definitely nice doing it. Yeah, okay, so like I said, that's basically all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and let's go figure out.